friends, it's Miss Heather here again, and I have another special book for us. Another read aloud that we're going to do. It's called The Anywhere Farm. First, let's do our I can statement. Ready? I can listen for rhyming words. Can you repeat that with me? I can listen for rhyming words. Good job, friends. Awesome. So this book is written by Phyllis Root, and it's illustrated by G. Brian Karras. What do you think this book is going to be about? Maybe growing things. It goes right along with a lot of the stuff we've been talking about, finding living things and figuring out which grows and what doesn't. Well, let's see. There's our title page again. For an anywhere farm, here's all that you need. Soil and sunshine, some water, a seed. I've already heard the first rhyming words. Need, seed. Those rhyme, they sound the same at the end. The only letter that changed was the S and the N. Need, seed. Those sound the same at the end. Fat seed or skinny seed, pointy or round. Tenderly tuck it down into the ground. Then you watch and you wait. You water, you weed. Your seed will sprout at its own seedy speed. We have to be patient when we do when we're planting, huh? And you'll have an anywhere, anywhere farm. Where can you plant your anywhere farm? Look, they used a question right in the middle. An old empty lot makes a good growing plot, but a pan or a bucket, a pot or a shoe, a bin or a tin or a window will do. Plant a farm in a crate, plant a farm in a cup, in a box, on a balcony, 10 stories up. Look at 10 stories up, she's planted hers. Plant a farm in a truck, in a box, on a bike, plant an anywhere farm, anywhere that you like. Bike. Another set of rhyming words. There's been a bunch. I'm not gonna say all of them. Anywhere that you have some soil, some seed, some sunshine and water, that's all that you need for your anywhere, anywhere, anywhere farm. Can you plant on your anywhere farm? Tail in a pail, corn in a horn. They're using rhyming words just right together. Kale, pail, corn, horn. Beets and zucchini, oregano beans, jicama, broccoli, radishes, green, tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, and peas. On your anywhere farm, plant whatever you please. Who might come to visit your anywhere farm? You might see a monarch, a ladybug, bees, hummingbirds, cardinals, fat chickadees. They're talking about the butterfly. We saw one of those in our other books this week. Your neighbors might come when they see what you've grown. They might want an anywhere farm of their own. It says farmer's market, Neighborhood garden. Oh, I love that. You might give them some seeds that they can plant in a can, a carton, a wash tub, an old frying pan, in a boat or a boot, or right in their yard. Anybody can do it. You've showed it's not hard. With your farm in a basket and mine on a chair, with soil and sunshine and water and care, one day all our anywhere farms, anywhere, might turn into an everywhere farm, everywhere. Wouldn't it be awesome to see all of that be so close to us? They've got it on their houses, out their windows, all around, they've got all these plants. And remember, plants are really good for the air too. Where does it all start? What do you need? Just one farmer. 
you and one little C. That's the end of my book, friends. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. What were some of the things that he named that you just need to start an anywhere farm? What were some of the things he named? It's on the first page, do you remember? Where you write soil, sunshine, water, and a seed. They can grow anywhere. Bye, friends.